good afternoon and thank you all to all my viewers if you are not subscribed to my youtube channel please try to uh, subscribe to my youtube channel as we are tv today we are going to talk about african migration you know many africans travel to europe to have a better life you know and i found a video it's it's really sad and i don't know how to talk about it you know i don't know what to say um if we are saying here one according to to travel to europe or to travel to a different country it's not false make sure you get all your documents in in touch just combine all your documents as it says at the europeans law finding your way out or you or you want to take a car from from mali to libya and from mali from africos to nigeria then you enter mali my friend traveling is not false no one is forcing you to go to europe it's not forced to go to europe and many people are dying on the desert others are killed others others are robbed you know there are so many bad people on the roadside if you want to travel get your passport go to gogo if you want to go to europe just go go about europe how to in, how to get all your documents how to be safe so that you can pass through airport now some this is somewhere this is somehow some people find a way out then they'll be taking car traveling to from Ghana to Togo, from Togo to Nigeria, from Nigeria to Mali, to Mali, from Mali to, to, to Libya. Then they walk on the desert. Such a risk, such a risk. Why? And if you're not like you hear that some people are at the desert, you know, when they see you, they kill you. When they kill you, they take off your kidney. Then they sell it. It's not for to travel to Europe. We are all we are all rushing for a better life, but. That is not how we want it. Work hard. Sometimes you dream people want to meet people more. See, Mediterranean scene is 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 not Mediterranean scene is now turning into cemetery, African cemetery. Look at how some people were were drunk in the sea. Sometimes in the navy, when they see you people coming, they don't they don't, they don't want to allow you people to enter Europe. So when they see you people on the on that on that balu boat, they just find something and chop the balu. Then you people just drown just like that. They kill all of you. Why don't you sit home? Sit, stay in your country. Find something to do in your life. At the end of the day, you get something. Hmm? It's not for to. It's not for to go to Europe. I want to share a little video, you know, how the Mariannian Sea is turning to African cemetery. I'm showing just a little video, and after the video, I have more videos ahead, and I will show it. You see how the thing goes? How some people were drunk. And the Marina Sea, you see how people were on the, on the seashore, lying down just like that. And as I'm saying it, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not focusing on the poor people alone. Sometimes it's due to our leaders. There is no fire without smoke. If our leaders are willing to create job for a, a good job for us to do, people will not be traveling here and there. You will stay in our country and take good care of our family. As we are saying, we, 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 we uh, sometimes I don't understand, understand African leaders creating a uh, different currency here and there. Just today, I just found one Ghana city. This is the different color. Just look, instead of you people to create a job for us to do, you'll be changing currencies. 
doing unnecessary things which will not help their country. Whilst we, the poor one, we are looking for jobs, create jobs for us to do so that people won't travel to Europe, to Asia. We want to leave our own country. Why don't you create jobs for us to do? African leaders. The only thing you want to do is just change the currency and move much of the currency, much of the money into your bank accounts and your family. And the ministers and those so-called, I don't know what to say. What kind of greedy life is this? Are you, not, are you people not ashamed that you, your, your, your people are dying in a miserable way, killing, shooting here and there, on the desert, on the sea? Are you not people ashamed of yourself? Every day, Africa, every day. Just look, Africa, we have a, such a, a rich natural resources. Africa have gold, diamond, bauxite, timbers, everything that a country deserves. We, we have everything. We have oil. And we don't know the outcome of the oil. And we need to just chop it. This goes to our leaders. And I'm not saying just because this is the time of the MPP. And I'm not saying uh, uh, it's MPP time. Both the MPP and DC. These two people are killing us. And it's time we, the youth, we need to rise up to tell them what to do. We we'll vote for you, so we we will say what we will say what we want, and you will do it for us. Something I don't understand. People when you get to election time, then the politicians be sending rice and chicken to people. Then you'll be free happy. They will be giving you fifty cities, hundred cities. That hundred cities cannot last you for four years. Tell them the truth that you need job. We are serious. Just let's all be serious. And we all know. When you feel the people with the truth, we all know how they're going to react. African leaders. We want to stop traveling to Europe and Asia and America or whatever. We want to stay in our own country. So it's a great job for us to do. You just go to Europe, Asia, and go for loan. Sometimes they give you the money for free just to be, m m create a job for us to, to, to do better roles. You just consume the money. After you people get the money, as soon as you get the money, they send the money on the plane before they land to Africa. What kind of wickedness is that? And this is the last video that I want to show you to my viewers. Please try and subscribe to my YouTube channel, We Are Forward TV. And you can follow me on all the social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. It's all about Real Forward TV. Just type it and you find me there. I want to show this little video again for you people to see what is going on in the material sea. I mean the blue sea. It's now turning into African cemetery. You see how people are dying at the seashore. It's really sad. Africans, what are we doing? Thank you for watching my video. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel as we are forward TV. And better click on the bell for you to see the logo sign. So anytime I post a video in, you get a, notif a notification. Thank you. Bless.